Hi, I'm Vance Creer with AM, and today we're going to talk about Cisco's physical security solutions, as well as some of the key features which make the video and access control solutions unique, and how those solutions can integrate together, as well as with Cisco Unified Communications. Uh, the Safety and Security Desktop is a, is a thick video client, uh, provides additional functionality beyond typical playback and, and recording playback that you would see in a typical web client. A couple of the key features of the Safety and Security Desktop are the ability to do a video wall. In some cases, we may have you know, a, a very large monitor or multiple monitors that are providing access to a number of cameras for perhaps a security operator or, or any other type of video wall application you may have. Um, it also provides the ability uh, to have a mapping interface so we can, we can build a, um, a geographic map of our different buildings. So maybe you have a, a campus or maybe your school district and you have lots of high schools. You can integrate this solution such that you have visibility into all of the schools from a mapping perspective. Um, in this case, we're going to show um, our, ourselves, which is um, we have currently video enabled at two locations. We've got an office in Denver with a couple cameras, and we have our main office here in Albuquerque with, with several cameras. And then within Albuquerque, we've, we've created an additional uh, location, which is technically our, our demo room, which is where we are today. It's actually in our building, but for purposes of demonstration, we want to show an additional location. So as I were to drill down, I can simply uh, drill in to each of the, the clouds of cameras, if you will, and it will uh, drill in and show the additional locations. In this case, I have you know, 17 cameras up here at our main office, four cameras at our, at our demo office, if you will, and uh, I can simply click on any of these locations and uh, drill in on those floor plans, click on any of the cameras and uh, view those videos. Um, may zoom back out, drill into our main office as an example, and you can see a floor plan layout of all of the cameras as well as what directions those cameras are pointing. So the green arrow is indicating, you know, kind of what those coverage areas look like. So you can drill in very quickly. It allows you to be able to follow a, uh, an individual as they traverse through the area or perhaps you have a, a lot of cameras such as most of our school district customers. Um, and from a naming convention perspective, uh, makes it sometimes hard to be able to identify exactly which camera is covering what area. Whereas uh, if you have a mapping interface, you can very quickly drill in and see the, the functionality. Another feature that I'd like to demonstrate is a feature called thumbnail search. So one of the challenges that we typically see with traditional video uh, solutions is how do I find video that's associated with an event? Uh, the typical scenario is I simply fast forward through the video until I find what I'm looking for. What we have the ability to do is, is much more elegant be able to drill into that video and find a specific event that occurred. So in this scenario, I have a, an event where a piece of art um, went missing out of our hallway. Uh, so I simply go up here to forensic search, do a thumbnail search, and I can grab the video associated with that event. And what will happen is it'll take that video clip and break it apart into equally spaced thumbnails. Now the larger the screen, the higher the resolution, the more thumbnails you can get. Uh, but I can see that from this video very quickly, the, obviously the piece of art was right here and it went missing, it, it existed here. So at 10.38 a.m. today it was there, at 2.31 it was not. So we have a four hour window where we know that, that the piece of art went missing during that time frame. Um, what we can do is simply highlight those two windows, say zoom in. It'll now take that four hour window and spread it out across the equal thumbnails until we have uh, more granular search. So here again, it's, it, it existed at 12:53, missing at 101. It's an eight-minute eight, eight minute window where the video or where the piece of art went missing. Simply drill in one more time, and that'll get us very, very close to the time that that, that that event occurred. So again, here we have the piece of art. Now it's missing. I can simply go to the one before the event and click on it and see the subject stealing our art. At this point, I can also uh, found the video. I have a nice uh, image of the of the perp, if you will. Um, I can simply right click and say take a snapshot, and it, it'll pull that video out or that uh, that snapshot of that incident out and save it wherever I'd like. It pops up a Windows Explorer window, save it off to a server share, drop it on my desktop, etc. Um, likewise, I can take a video clip, so I can very quickly. Um, create a, a clip from that event. We know that right now, this is 1255.58. I can tighten up the, uh, the window a little bit. We'll set our, our end time at like 1256. Right click and say, create an MP4 file. And I can call this clip whatever I like. I'm gonna take a 41 second clip and it will in the background process that video clip. And then I can simply download the video uh, once it's completed. 
I can click on it. Again, it'll ask me where I want to save it. I'm gonna drop it on my desktop, and that's all there is to being able to access that video. Now, we can actually highlight specific pieces of our video after the fact and do what's called a motion search. So with metadata tagging and some of the analytics capabilities built into the Cisco Video Surveillance Solution, um, it gives us the ability to, to have that granularity. In this scenario, um, what, what I've done is essentially I came in and wrote something on the board. What we're going to do is a forensic search for an event very specific to something that occurred on this part of the whiteboard. It may not show up as well in the video, but from a forensic search, we can see that someone came into the room, did something, and then left. What I've done is I've taken that video clip and I've said at some point between 12.09, uh, p.m. and 1.14 p.m. there was a motion event and I literally drew a box around that specific part of the whiteboard that I showed and said find any motion events that occurred during that time frame. And I can very quickly see that it's now instead of an hour worth of video that I have to that I have to search through, I can see that there were five events here, four events there, and a couple of events towards the end of that time period. We happen to know in this case that the subject we're looking for was wearing a white shirt. Um, I can simply drill into it and find the event associated with that clip and simply double click on it and now we see the subject drawing something on the board. One additional demo that I'd like to show is the ability to integrate the Cisco Physical Access Control solution with the surveillance solution. Uh, one of the common reasons to do this is to have event correlation between the two systems so that a event perhaps that, uh, that occurs at a door, let's say a door grant access event or a door forced open event or anything like that, uh, we can very quickly find the event in the access control system, simply right click and say show me the video for a camera that is covering that door. In this scenario, um, we have obviously our, our production building here. Uh, we also have a couple demo doors. So I can right click on a demo door as an example, go to view recent events. And obviously we have you know, lots of different events here. We'll go to this last grant access event, which was happens to be me. Right click on it and we see that we have one camera that is covering that door, if you will. I can simply go to view event video and it'll essentially uh, pull that video from the from the surveillance solution. It starts 10 seconds before the event and essentially walks up to the event occurring and continues playing. So very quickly from here, we can you know take a snapshot, clip out the video, do any of the things that we can traditionally do with the Cisco surveillance solution. So that's one common use case for the integration between those two.